what's up beauties today i'm going to be trying to start a new makeup challenge and that is called friends pick my makeup blindly so essentially what's going to happen is i'm going to text a friend and i'm going to give them three color options and they are going to choose for me and no matter what it looks like i'm going to have to roll with what they say so let's get started i'm going to start with my husband let's see if he can just respond without asking me why <laughs> this is the one reason i didn't want to film this i can't really like depend on people to get back to me right away people have lives so there's probably going to be a lot of editing in this video to speed this up okay so he responded back to me and for me he chose alabaster which is the new elf foundation okay so now i just asked my mom about which concealer I should use, and I gave her three options as well. Okay, so my mom chose porcelain. She said, <laughs> ivory sounds boringer, but I'm going to be using porcelain from LA Girl Pro Conceal HD High Definition. Oh my God, I don't even know if I can get any of this out. Literally. 20 minutes later. I just had to cut it open. And I text my best friend, should I use butter or translucent for setting powders? Because I have a sample of the new Fenty Beauty Pro Filter, which is in the color butter, but she chose for me the Too Faced Born This Way translucent setting powder. So far, everyone's picking good stuff for me. It's definitely gonna be eyeshadow when this uh, is not good. I hate when colors don't have names. Why? Why? Now I have to pick something else. I talked to like four people in a row and nobody's answering, so I'm just sending out a whole bunch with different options for different steps so that hopefully we can get this moving a little. Okay, so I got a response on the brow products. So I asked, should I use medium brown? Hope. or brunette betty and that's what she picked she said brunette betty all the way so we're gonna jump to brows since i'm still waiting on some people to answer me about other things okay so my friend responded and she wants me to use the tart toasted palette which is pretty neutral seems safe right wrong Somebody could tell me to use this color here for my brow bone highlight. Would have no idea what they're doing to me. Sabotage. Okay, so I realized the only fair way to do this was to text the person who's choosing the color every single name in the palette because otherwise I could just choose the three best colors that would look good for me. So I sent a friend every color from the toasted palette and she's gonna choose my brow bone highlight and then for the next one, I'm just gonna choose the palette and send the, name to, um, the names of all the colors to the next person. Okay, so the person who was choosing my highlight color got back to me and they chose for me the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow in Perla. Excellent choice. Okay, so I've actually never really used this on already powdered skin, so let's just see how it goes. I'm just hoping it doesn't like pick up, uh, which it kind of is. Oh no, the sabotage is real, but I did it to myself. So <laughs> that was my first bad one, I guess. The liquid highlighter is definitely picking up the already set powder products and it looks pretty bad. It's really like oxidizing the powder around it. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> It's fine now, actually. I think not too bad. The people who are responding right away I think it's really funny, and then a lot of people just aren't responding at all. Okay, so finally my sister got back to me, and we're gonna go with Orgasm for blush. Not that I thought that anybody would be able to stop themselves from picking anything else from those. Oh no. Okay, so my first friend who was picking to highlight my brow bone pretty much picked the worst thing she possibly could, so 
my hopes of this turning out decently are pretty much down the drain at this point. Okay, so Jenna picked for me Fireside. To highlight my brow bone. So I'm gonna take a teeny tiny bit of Fireside. I look like I have. <laughs> oh no, this is so bad. It just kind of looks like I have super thick eyebrows. I have a lot of really confused friends texting me right now that don't understand. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do my lips because my husband is this and he responded already. So of the three, he picked Shimmy from ColourPop. Okay, so my friend got back to me for my bronzer and she chose Butter Bronzer Maru Maru for that. So thank God I'm not gonna be so pale in a minute here. I've resorted to asking other friends now. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna be here all day. 90% of the video that I'll have to edit out is me waiting for people to text me back. I should have done this last night. I just use the answers today. to take on this challenge, be prepared to wait a lot, a lot, a lot. All right, so for my first crease color, my friend Cory picked Sprinkles, which is a light pink and sparkly, but that's okay. I don't know the last time I wore a shimmery color in my crease. The next palette is the Jeffree Star Alien palette. And I asked my friend Stacy, and she said Martian soil. So I'm gonna be using this bright yellow to deepen my crease. The next one I'm using is for my outer V, and my friend Jen chose the color Love Letter, which is one of my favorites. And it goes with the pink, so good choice, Jen. color could just never not be good. I'm going to move on to my lower lash line and my friend picked number eight which is the middle bottom. So that's some more bright yellow which is kind of funny. Okay I asked my mom. It's the third person I've asked now so I just gotta get an answer and she'll give me one. Help mom. She's writing. Dreamweaver. I finally have a color. Now which one are you? Dream, dream. Dreamweaver. It's pink. What are the odds? Okay, so for my lid color, I'm gonna go in with this bright pink. Dreamweaver. You know, I kind of like it now. This kind of pulls it together a bit. Okay, lastly, for my inner corner highlight, I asked my friend which color from the Sultry palette, and she picked Steampunk. Woohoo! It's yellow gold, so it goes with the look. Okay, so I'm just gonna throw on some mascara, and then that will be the finished look. Okay, that's it you guys. I'll zoom you in and you can have a closer look at what my friends created. That's it you guys. I let my friends blindly pick my makeup and this is what happened. 
anyways, you guys, thanks for coming back and I'll see you on the next one.